I hardly thought I would be able to make the journey to JAK's house and back. There was something boiling in me as I walked. At a certain point, even as I limped, which edged me on. There was a small, quiet voice whispering, do it, finish the walk, and you are doing it for JEK. There is a certain fuel which kept refueling my exhaustion. Development is a long walk. Freedom is a long walk. The kind of walk for which one needs considerable stamina. It is a walk that takes you through the valley, climbing the hill, the entire ecology, rivers to cross, and the final journey, the road of Moses that opens the path for you to walk through impediments that you thought you could never walk through. And I'm particularly touched by the diversity of representation here. Able-bodied, differently abled. You want to call them amputees? No, they are not. They are differently abled. The otherwise marginalized and the minority within the population for whom JAK fought has throughout his life, from his youthful days to the time that is 80 years, still fighting for them. I'm so touched that they are here and that they led the walk. They are the people for whom the disability law was made. Yes, the marginalized, the several social intervention programs that our friend, our father, our everything did. He did not do it for himself. At this point in time, certainly he's going to be with us for several years, but nobody lives forever. The virtues and the legacy that he stood for, these ought to be permanent permanently etched within the history. And this is what this work is about. This is what the JAK Foundation is about. And this is why we led the fight for a parcel of land at the University of Ghana, where the offices are being built. So our good friend, our father, our uncle, we thank you very much for leading the way. You are now a statesman that is charting a path for Ghana, charting a path for Africa.